to Alzheimer's. It's all for the annual Fab 40s 5K event. Kevin Hernandez joins us live with the details and why they're taking part. Good morning, Kevin. Yes, we're here at the Memorial Wall um, in honor of uh, patients who have uh, passed away, unfortunately, of Alzheimer's disease. Now, we're here with Robin, whose mother is on the wall. This is your mother, Eileen Miller. She's up there, and she's over here right next to you as well. So you've been associated with this event for a number of years, really, since the beginning. So tell us what it means to have people come out and, and um, just be a part of this. It's so very special to be out here with other family members and teams who've been coming out for years to celebrate loved ones. And it's very comforting to come together with people who've walked this journey um, um, it's very unique to have shared this with families who know what it's like to have loved ones suffer from the disease. Absolutely. And you said, you know, by being here, it kind of keeps your mother's memory alive. I mean, again, she's up here. She's right next to you. So, I mean, when you come out here and you get to see her like this, I mean, that must mean a lot to you. It does. I mean, we named our team Team Unforgettable. My mom's uh, favorite song was Unforgettable. So it's it's really our commitment to make this um, something where she is unforgettable. We bring our children out here. Um, friends and family come out. Mm -hmm. Every year we, we talk about her. We celebrate her her. We come out here not just today but throughout the year and, and we talk about her and we, we, we lay flowers and we, we stand around and we share stories. So having her on this wall is a, is a huge gift to our family. Um, the picture you see here was something that we wanted to capture that really is the look of Alzheimer's, which is a very vacant look. Um, families who have Alzheimer's are very familiar with that look. But after she passed, we wanted to make sure we celebrated the look of, um, of more of who she was, the light in her eyes. So Absolutely. it's very important to us that we had both hit things here on the wall. Absolutely. Now, speaking of teams, we want to come over here really quickly and talk to Team Teresa. Now, Howard, your wife, your wife over here, Teresa McCourt, she's also on the wall as well. This is your team here. You all come out and you represent your wife who passed away from Alzheimer's as well. That's so what does it mean to you to have everybody kind of rally behind you and support her? It means um, so much. I mean, to come out here in honor and celebrate her and her spirit mm -hmm. and um, to know that uh, she was so well known and loved in the running community for one. Um, she ran for over 30 years in Sacramento, wow. part of the Buffalo Chips running community, and she wrote a column for the Sacramento Bee for eight or nine years, wow. and it just means a great deal to know that um, her spirit is kept alive and that she touched so many people in, in East Sacramento um, over so many years. Absolutely. And again, this is a testament with everybody behind supporting Teresa. So we're not leaving the, the Fab 40s 5K walk and run. We're actually going to take to the start line coming up next hour. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. We'll probably see all of these individuals out here again supporting Team Teresa. Okay, we'll send it on back to you in the studio. Awesome. Team Teresa. Thanks so much, Kevin. We know the work hour is going to